Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. One person is in custody after leading law enforcement on a high speed chase this morning on Interstate 43. It started on Milwaukee South Side and ended in Glendale with both the suspect and a deputy hurt. Lauren Linder has the details of how it all ended. But it went on for about 10 or 15 minutes, nonstop sirens. That was the scene outside Bobby Sanford's home early Saturday morning. One squad after another flew up I-43, flashing their lights and blasting their sirens. Dash cams on a car driving by captured part of the chase. I actually thought somebody was in my yard the way my dog was barking. I'm trying to stop a reckless driver. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says it started just after midnight on I-43 northbound by 6th Street when deputies attempted to pull over an erratic driver. There's no plate. The bumper is tied on the rear. Scanner traffic reveals the car continued to pick up speed, driving north through Milwaukee. Northbound 43 from Howard, 112 miles per hour. It's a silver Acura. Lane 1, Rosedale, speeds are at 125. Be going under Walnut in just a few seconds. Speeds are at 100. 30 miles an hour. Glendale police joins in at Silver Spring where they put down stop sticks. Get the stick, get the stick, pull the Causing the car to slow down. Just watch the tires. Investigators say the suspect's car came to a stop at I-43 here by Daphne Road where the suspect got out of their car and ran off. Deputies chased after the suspect and eventually took them into custody. Both the suspect and a deputy suffered minor injuries in the process. I cut my hand in the fence. The sheriff's office says the suspect faces charges of fleeing, recklessly endangering safety, and resisting an officer. Wake up. Bobby just hopes this driver and others on the road can learn something from this. Have some type of sensibility for other people. In Glendale, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4.